Okay, I picked up some shrimp this morning. Got four dozen hand picks, and the wind is blowing like 25 miles an hour. So let's see if we can get some fish. All right, guys. I scraped a bunch of barnacles in case there's some sheep's head around some docks here. So there's enough to chum and fish with. guy hooked on here I always hook them up through the bottom of the head and bring it out through the top of the head and that is a one-aught uh, two times strong gamagatsu hook J hook the winds blowing that way I'm gonna be fishing kind of awkward this morning in the kayak be turned around whenever it spot locks all right let's try it there spot lock it up Little shrimpy shrimpy under the dock see if we got any fish hanging out there today see that spot lock is the wind is blowing this direction so it's spot locked into the wind there's a hit that was a little hit there a little something grabbed it There he is. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, guys. That's a good fish. There we go. Nice. Good fish. What do we got here? Oh, nice little, nice little red. Nice little red fish. Nice, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice, got us a nice little red, like the second cast. <laughs> nice. Put that little guy on the magic angler paddle. He's 17 inches. Look, he's got a spot on his side and one on his tail. Got one on this side back here. Pretty blue tail. All right, let's let this guy go. Got us a little redfish, baby. Woohoo! All right, so I can never remember the regulation on redfish. They have to be at least 18 to 27 inches. And it looks like I can keep one. So, uh, yeah, that guy was a little small. All righty. Let's throw it right up there in that same spot. See if we got another one. Right up next to the pilings. He kind of hit it one time. He hit it one time and then he dropped it. And then he hit it again. I always hear Captain Todd's voice. Let it soak. Let it soak. He just cast that shrimp up there and let that live shrimp do what he does, man. Just let it soak. Don't mess with it. I'm going to try and reposition here. So I can cast under the dock a little better. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Got a delicious shrimp for you. Surprise, we haven't caught another redfish. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Another. There he is. That's the other red I was just talking about right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, we got redfish under this dock. This might be a keeper here, guys. This one might be a keeper. He looks a little bigger than that other one. Nice. Yeah, that's a keeper there. That's an 18 incher there. Heck yeah, buddy. Get this guy on the scale. It's funny, I just I just said I was surprised I hadn't caught another red because usually 
you catch one there'll be another one right oh, dude he is so close and i wish i had my bump board he is really close oh guys i can't take a chance he is right at 18 inches <laughs> now he definitely not the same one that i caught a little while ago because he doesn't have that spot on his side but look at how blue his tail is beautiful fish wow all right buddy thanks for the catch nice <laughs> what do you think about that two shrimp and two redfish i absolutely love catching redfish they are so much fun that guy was exactly 18 inches i don't have my bump board with me this morning so i did not want to take a chance but yeah i haven't had redfish in a while if i catch one big enough we're gonna keep him definitely all right here we go another big big hand picked shrimp flip him under the dock oh my kayak is positioned perfect here wow yeah, these people usually let the dogs out in this house right here. Let's see if we got any fish hanging out. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, that's a hit. There we, oh, dude, that was a good hit. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Can't believe I missed that fish. That was a small shrimp. Holy smokes. That was a good fish right there, guys. Dang it. JC. Don't be missing them, dude. He's got it. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's another red. That's another red. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, it's a sheep's head. Big sheep's head, guys. All right. Yeah, I thought we'd have some sheeps in here. There we go. A little sheep's head for a catch and cook. Nice. Definitely a keeper. Big keeper sheeper. Woo hoo, baby. Nice. Magic ang angle of paddle. Yeah, he's about 13 and a half. <laughs> nice little surprise catch there. I thought I had another red. Nice. He was just kind of nibbling on it. I never even thought sheep said. All right, let's see if we got more down there. Oh my gosh. Guys, I've used like, I mean, I've dropped three shrimp in the water, but I've used four shrimp and I've caught three fish. I mean, this is insane fishing already this morning. Uh, I got to see if I can get it back in there further. Give it a line drive. Oh yeah, there we go. Almost got it all the way back to those back pilings. Come on, fish. Come on, fishy fishies. Let's go. He's got it. He's got it. There we go. Fish on. Look at that. Got a little snook, baby. There we go. There we go. Nice. What is that? Like six shrimp. <laughs> I don't know. Six shrimp and three fish, that's pretty good average. We are, uh, we're batting 50% here, guys. Nice little snook snook. Thanks for the catch, big guy. I love dock fishing, man. It is so much fun. I'm gonna try and get it right up in there. Like in the heart, yeah, right in the heart of the dock back there. 
That was perfect. Try and spot lock, see what this thing is going to do. Actually position perfect right here. Yep, there he is. There he is. There we go. Dude, he was right in the middle of the dock. Come on out of there. Come. Oh, dude, big snook. Big snook. Big snook. Big snook, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice snook. Dude, you are mine. And he was right in the heart of the dock, too. There he is. That's a good one. I don't think this net's going to do me any good, but we're going to try it. Oh, that's a good fish, man. That's a good fish. Come on, buddy. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Cool. Dude. That is a sweet snook right there. Yeah. Nice. It's about 27 and a half. 27 and a half, guys. Giving this guy a drink. Get one good look at him. There we go. That's a good one there, guys. Nice snook. Oh my gosh. He was laying right up in the heart right up in the heart of that dock man right in the middle of the pilings he hit it i set the hook oh my gosh he was all wrapped up in there Woo! so it's taken me a couple years to learn this but you got to have a tight drag lock it down really good so you can get them away from the dock then loosen up but 20 pound test braid 30 pound test leader and uh two times strong uh one aught j hook so all right let's see if we can get another one there's a hit. There's a hit. Oh, it's a good one. There we go. Fish on, baby. Oh, he knows he's hooked now. He didn't know he was hooked when I first hooked him. Well, I think we got another red. Yep, another red. Another nice red. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. There we go. Come on, buddy. Dude, every time I catch a redfish about this size, I wonder if it's one of the reds that Salt Strong let go. I mean, they let like 30,000 redfish go all over South Florida. Oh, that's another good one. Dude, he might be 18. He might be 18. There he is, guys. 19-incher. Keep a redfish. We're going to cook up some redfish on the grill tonight. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> keeper redfish and a keeper sheeper. That's three redfish, a snook, and a sheep's head on like nine, eight or nine shrimp now. That's just crazy. That is just crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm having a blast. Well, I got to tie on a new leader because I am fishing around docks. I've been rubbing up against pilings whenever I hook on these fish. I got frayed up pretty bad, but using 30 pound test leader this morning. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get another one. Here we go again. Just gonna hook this shrimp from underneath, right in front of his legs and bring it straight out through the top, just like that. All right, let's see if we got another one up in there. Up in here. Oh yeah. Put it right back there in the same exact spot, man. Oh, just had another hit. Just had another hit. There he is. There we go. That's another one. That's another one. Another good one. Another red. See ya. Nice. <laughs>
I think that's four red fish, nine, nine shrimp, four red fish, a snook, and a sheep's head. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Another solid fish. Another solid fish. Dude, that's a good snook. That's a good snook. That's a good snook. Nice. All right, little guy. Oh yeah. There we go. Take it. Dude, I came unspot locked again. What the heck? Alright guys, another nice little snook. You gotta be kidding me. Like 10 shrimp and and six fish now this is ridiculous i got i got four dozen shrimp and i still got a bunch of shrimp in my bucket man <laughs> two snook like what four or five red fish and a sheep's head oh my gosh incredible fishing this morning yeah, let's see if we got another snook hanging out back up in there we got another snooky snooky in there snook snook Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Come on out of here. Come on out of here. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, we we're tearing them up this morning. Tearing them up. Redfish. 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 Another nice red, dude. Another nice red. Nice. Heck yeah. Another nice redfish, dude. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that freaking red, baby. Turn them up. All right, thanks for the catch, buddy. See ya. Nice. Oh my gosh, the kind of morning every fisherman dreams of right just wrecking the fish over there on those docks so i'm pulling away from the docks i'm really just out here scouting this morning trying to find some fish um, i'm heading over to a spot i'm going to chum with some barnacles see if we can get some sheep's head fired up maybe catch some sheep's head but i'm going to call it quit here quits here in a little gu while guys i mean really i got i've caught plenty of fish for a video and i got plenty of fish for a catch clean and cook so I am having a great time this morning. Thanks for hanging out with me, and remember, thumbs up are appreciated. But all right, let's go see if we can find some sheep's head. Trying to get them chummed up right here. Trying to get something chummed up. This spot lock has a mind of its own whenever you get around the bridge. It just doesn't know what to do. There he is. There he is. There we go. Got him chummed up, baby. Nice sheep's head. Nice sheep's head. On the barnacles. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Got him chummed up good, man. Put a bunch of barnacles down there. I knew there were sheep's head in there. Big old fatty. Dude, that's a big in there. Woohoo! Nice sheeper, sheeper, sheeper. All right, buddy, thanks. Woohoo! <laughs> Woof! Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, it. <laughs> Oh, it is cold out here. My feet are freezing, man. Woo! I don't know how these guys do it when they're out there fishing in the ice and their bare hands. And oh, listen, 
we got a nice sheep's head over there i just couldn't stay in that wind it's too cold in the the shade of the bridge so anyway we're gonna continue on with this awesome adventure guys There's a big one down there. It was about 30, 36 inches maybe. There were a bunch of them here this morning. Oh, maybe they're out here in deeper waters. Oh yeah, there's a couple of big ones right there. Nice. Oh, there's two or three of them under the, oh dude, there's like six or seven of them under the boat <laughs> that is so cool all righty now let's get some fish cleaned up oh his guts are poking out already tasty tasty sheep said I didn't believe this guy because I didn't have to have a cooler and uh, they'll these these guys are here or they'll live for a long time after you catch them out of the water so I didn't believe him coming over here to fight over the food apparently I'm gonna try and steal my sheep's head I think all right we got the the fish cleaned up let's cook them up I think I'll put this down here on the ground so we don't get oil all over the table of course I opened it upside down as usual love my little cooker go ahead and get this fired up we'll start heating up the pan Got plenty of butane in there and we gotta lock the can in place turn it on and there we go Let's get the pan on there. Oh, I am so hungry, guys. It's about 3.30. I got on the water about 10.30, but I've been kind of taking my sweet old time here. I got to get some olive oil. Olive oil. That's plenty right there. It's just impossible to get away from noise. I thought I would come here to my house and do the, the cook portion because it would be quieter. It's kind of construction thing going over there. It's been just buzzing for a half hour, so. All right. All right, I think we're gonna use some uh, 
some red fish magic on these guys with some cook them with some butter we're gonna blacken them up real good get them seasoned up real good get a little need to get a little butter in the pan it's probably good and hot by now let's see All right, and put a little bit of seasoning in the pan also. Give them a drop. Come on, fire. Get hot. I seasoned those fists with Chef Paul Perdome's uh, blackened redfish magic. This stuff is absolutely delicious. Oh, look at that, guys. They're blacken blackening up good. It's going to be delicious. Nice. Mmm. Finger looking good. All right, there's my my dinner, lunch and dinner. Nice, looking really good. So the thinner ones, this is the uh, the sheep's head here. Let me try the sheep's head. So good, fresh sheep's head. It's the only way to eat it. Take a look at this redfish. Nice, beautiful white meat on that redfish. Big old thick chunky filet. Mmm. Been about a year since I had redfish. Delicious. Oh, that's so good. Seasoned perfect too. Black and red fish and sheep's head. Catch and cook, baby. Mmm. Well, I could have stayed out there for hours today. The bite was so good, but I only fished for about two hours and caught all these fish. So the, the cook portion is absolutely delicious. You gotta try black and red fish magic if you've never had it. The key is don't put too much seasoning on there. You'll be sorry, right? But uh, yeah, absolutely delicious. Thanks for coming along for this adventure. Thumbs up, appreciate it. And everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya! Ah!